last year when we started, when our state started the kindergarten readiness assessment, the first assessment that came up and was a very much an eye opener for us. We traditionally uh, do very well and our scores were below the state average with how our children were coming in, which was, you know, very, uh, very disturbing. And so uh, we knew then we needed to do something to make sure that we tried to reach more kids prior to them uh, getting to this to us and then us continuing to, you know, to work with them. And we had been planning on doing this, but we'd kind of kept putting it off. Um, uh, for multiple reasons, but when we received the data, we were like, okay, we can't put this off anymore. We're doing it, and we're doing it now. We really worked hard over the summer to update this building. You know, we had to you know, paint rooms and get it. We had to move our technology department out. We had to do a lot of uh, different things. We uh, adjusted our federal programs dollars, our federal money that comes in. It's really designed to help our most needed. When you pay with something out of federal programs, you have to um, look at the needs. In our community has been amazing. We have grandparents that volunteer, we have community members that come and volunteer, and they just do a, a great job. Um, we're blessed here. We have the Senior Citizen Center right next door. We have the Public Library um, also next door, and so it, it's really just a, a great, just a great setup, and the kids are, are, are learning amazing things. And the brain research shows so much learning is done uh, before a kid ever reaches kindergarten, before they're five years old, so much is learning is done. So anything that we can do to give our um, kids a, you know, a upper hand in life, you know, we're excited and, and driven to try to do that. Beach ball, tell me these letters. And we're very pleased with the growth we've had of the students. Um, you know, they, they've made tremendous gains from at the beginning of the year. Um, some of them were coming in and, and they didn't know their colors or didn't know their numbers or um, were not able to identify letters. And now we have students that are actually blending, um, reading CVC words, um, reading stories. So, so we are very pleased and very excited. From our final kindergarten readiness assessment um, that we just took, uh, we had many of our students that scored at the pre-K level, which is the 498, and many of them scored well above the 530 and, you know, our transitional readers, and we're just so proud of the progress uh, that all of the students have made. Learning occurs in the pre-K classroom through hands-on learning. That's what, that's what we try to provide, those experiences that they can have. You know, you'll see centers such as, um, like today, you, you might have seen um, an ice cream shop. And to most people, they would think that was play, um, which it is, but they learned through that play. They were actually doing some math skills and some fine motor skills that they'll need um, later in life. They were doing socialization, which is very important. So you, you put all of those together, and that's what makes um, what what makes the pre-k classroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We had so many children coming in preschool just like we did in kindergarten, not knowing any letters, not knowing colors, shapes, things like that, not able to count to ten. And to see them grow from that, they're blending, they're reading, and they are loving their success. We just had a transitional um, meeting the other night with our parents and they were able to go to our Pearl Lower Elementary to kind of visit the center and get them acclimated and the teachers were just amazed that were there that um, of the children that attended. They were able to sit down and follow directions, listen to a story, answer questions. They were they were very excited and pleased and they said we can't wait to get um, these pre-k students because they're going to be ready for kindergarten. Mm -hmm.